I have kept my mouth shut for seven years and I tried my best not to talk bad about YouTube I tried I really have now let's talk about it so let's start with the first thing okay I know I'm late on this and as much as I want to actually um, hear your comments saying you're not involved you're not an actual youtuber you don't know what the other youtubers have been through <laughs> If you're new to my channel, you have no idea how long I've been on this platform. That's first. Second, the community guidelines of this platform has officially deteriorated, completely vanished. The YouTube was good around its prime until though that exact year. And that year is 2016. Due to the purge, the apocalypse, everything has changed. For not only the smaller YouTubers, hell, for the bigger YouTubers for the best and for the worst. Some of the best creators on the platform vanished. Hell, even some of the best vloggers, commentators, they're about to be extinct. This entire website is about to turn into a reality show. Entirely. And when I say it, I say it. This entire platform is going to be only for TV. The creators will be extinct. And you're not going to believe me? Watch what happens. They literally have messed up everything for small YouTubers. Or how to actually grow big on YouTube. Specifically that. Second. They just now added community guidelines for criticism against other creators. Now, don't get me wrong. We had a lot of problems around that during 2016 and 2017. Let me say something. If you're mistakenly putting these guidelines out, it's going to put another gateway of the entire creating community at risk. You have put every single creator at risk because of this. YouTube. The original CEO would have never let this happen. Not even close. Because you know why? Because those guys actually know what the fuck they were doing. Unlike y'all. Y'all didn't know what the fuck you're doing. Ever since 2016, everything fucking changed. Dust by dust, writing by writing, every single thing on this website has officially deteriorated. You are letting the creators that have inspired other fans and people on YouTube to actually do and make a community on here. And you're going to ruin it by putting these guidelines up. This exactly proves my point about things in this community. Now. I'm going to bring up a few things. Number one, this brings around the criticism part. News channels, scarce, 
Keemstar. Other news. They've been doing this for a long, long time. And now you're about to take that away from them. You did the same thing for gamers. What else are you going to do, huh? Huh? What else are you going to fucking do? You refuse to do anything. All you could have done, YouTube, is kept the same thing. That's all you could have done. But no, you decided to let things rot. And refuse to let anyone do any of the things how much they wanted. Hell, I don't even think YouTube remembers their own icon. Their own quote. Shit. Broadcast yourself. In one place where you could actually express yourself, have your way of having your own opinions, and all that shit has all gone down to waste. Look at what you have done. And I am speaking for every creator. Every small creator here, I am going to speak for. They have been here. Some of them have been here since 2017. Some of them have been here longer. They know how YouTube has changed their guidelines and how it's affected creators all across the community. Now, here's another thing that YouTube doesn't know about me. I've been the observer. I've been the observer since 2005 when it first came out. Now don't get me wrong. Sure, I was watching Teen Titan videos. Fair. But I took a look at the website and it actually had some decent people on there when it first started. It started as an underrated website that didn't really get that much attraction. It's prime was 2012 to 2013, all the way down to 2015. After that, 2016 destroyed everything. Bringing in creators that will ruin the entirety of the community and putting it at risk. Setting bad role models for the people out there. And we had icons that were gone for the past few years because of this entire situation where one simple thing fucked the entire website up. You have made the one simple thing might settle down into bankruptcy. I'm going to keep it 100% with y'all. You wonder why I'd rather stay underground than be famous. Especially trying to gain a million subs. Hell, even 100,000. Because this shit right here is not fucking worth it. If this shit right here... If these guys are going to literally ruin everything for you just because of one technical error that they can't simply fix. Now don't get me wrong, YouTube has been in, in that same complication before in 2014 and 2015, but even so, it was not as bad as it is now. And that is a guarantee for any of you. I'm speaking for the, the entire website I am speaking for everyone. YouTube is going to go bankrupt if they let these guidelines get worse. And I mean it. The second they make this get any worse from there, 
is where everything fucks up. Now, I'm going to say this for anyone else that doesn't understand. Alright? Game creators have always have always had their icons here and there. And this brings back to what I was talking about a few days earlier. Because a lot of people don't really get it. And I'm staring to all those fucking comments because they want, want to try that shit. 2017. Ninja was announced the most inspirational gamer of all in history as far as YouTube and Twitch is concerned. Now, Tiffy responded to this very quietly and she got hate and a threat towards her a lot. Now, let me tell you to some of you motherfuckers that don't know anything about YouTube. PERIOD! YouTube has been out there way before you fucking knew it. Let me guess, you knew YouTube since 2017, right? 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 It seems like it, right? Because you don't know a goddamn thing. You don't know a goddamn thing about this platform. So do me a favor, keep your goddamn comments to yourself. Same with Twitter. Same with every single platform. If you don't know nothing about YouTube, keep it to yourself. Zipped. <sighs> Secondly, Tiffy is known to be the second best female commentator in, in the whole world. It's in the Guinness World Records. Fucking dumbass. In case you actually forgot about that. Now, here's the other thing that a lot of people are not gonna understand. And this is for me. Because personally, this is between me and the YouTube CEO. You wanna call this harassment? Go ahead. <sighs> I have held my mouth for too fucking long. I mean it. <sighs> Ever since 2016, my channel got deleted. All because you cleared out my fucking viewers. Every single one of them were gone. They vanished. Had no idea I was either uploading or anything. There was a complete void. I was lost. I had to restart. Had to rebrand. All because of you. <sighs> Just so you know, I fucking hate you. You might see this face again. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I don't give a shit what you gotta say to me. If you got a problem with me, say it to my fucking face. But don't you ever ruin my entire career because of one simple rule you fucking changed. Bitch.